Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. I am laughing because this is like take seven on trying to do this damn cup. Um, every time I start on it, something happens. This is actually the third time I printed this water slide because two of the times I've started this cup, something big has happened and I've had to like abandon ship. So, um, this is the result of the second time. This is what the water slide looked like when I pulled it off because I did have the presence of mind to pull it from the cup so I didn't have to sand or strip the cup. So here we go with take, I don't even know. I promised that I would do a mirror imaged water slide for you guys. So I picked my image from Creative Fabrica. I mirrored the image in... Um, Apache Open Office, which is what I use to do my full wraps. Um, I unfortunately printed this one on its standard print setting. I didn't even think to change the quality, so it's maybe not the best, but I took it outside. I spray sealed it three times. Uh, the first one, when I sealed it, was the best because it was warm that day. The second two tries, the temperature's been dropping. It's actually snowing again today, so yay. Um, but after you've sealed it, you need to cut every single side. Um, because the water slide papers are like not an eight and a half by eleven and a half, they're like longer and narrower. Um, sometimes I end up printed right on the edge which is what happened in this case. So you still have to trim that edge. Anywhere the sealer is around onto the backing paper potentially is a place where it's going to stick on you. So don't, don't forget to trim that edge. Don't think, oh, I already trimmed it or it's already sealed there. You know, don't, just don't. So I have some water in my pan, which has not completely evaporated on me yet. So I'm going to put my image face down. I do face down to start on my bigger ones because they tend to curl. And especially since I'm in such a shallow situation here. Um, these Dollar Tree pans are the only thing I have without taking like a roasting pan from my kitchen, which I don't like to do, um, that will hold a full wrap. So, it's going to take a minute for me to get it fully submerged. There we go. And I'm going to grab my little thing here. I'm going to put my thing on there. My thing, my cup. This is a 20 ounce skinny from either Maker Flow or Hog. I couldn't tell you which at this point because it's spray painted, so... And I'm going to get a paper towel damp. And I'm going to get my whole cup wet. And my craft room door has been open because it's been cold. And I haven't been using epoxy. So it's, um, <laughs> my water may be a little not the best at this point. Because I did, like, clean out our pellet stove and stuff. Which puts a lot of soot and dust in the air but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna check my image, see if I'm releasing yet. All right, so I should be released. Now, I'm going to put it face down. I did spray paint this cup, cup with a glossier spray paint. If you do this on a mat, um, you'll have almost no movement possible. Because you're not really working with the adhesive side up, if that makes sense. So, the part between the water slide and the backing paper is what I call the slimy side, which is the side that has the most movement. So... And um, if I can, 
You can see this whole thing is sliding already. I would like to I would like to actually get the backing off of one side because if I have a slight overlap, it'll grab itself. So if you have it lined up perfectly, it won't happen, but if it's a little bit off, it can grab itself. And I did end up with a fold here. This method is usually easier, and I'm just struggling. All right, so that's unfolded. I'm gonna roll it back out now. All right, now I can lay this side down. So, that's on. I have my, sip, whoops. I have my silicone squeegee tool, which I just caught on a bag of split rings. Um, I'm going to get that wet, and I am just going to kind of go over the outside for just a hot second. And I'm actually going to come back in with my paper towel and get my whole outside damp again. All right. And so all you're going to do is grab around that backing paper and slide it off. Easy peasy, right? Let's see, this is the slimy side. So I'm a little bit further towards the bottom than I ultimately would have liked, but it's fine. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your squeegee silicone makeup brush and work that water out from underneath. So, there you go, that is the mirrored reversed water slide method. Generally speaking, easier, and just this cup is cursed for some reason. You ever have a cup like that, that no matter what you do, it just isn't going to work? So, I'm going to let this dry for several hours. All of my turners are full behind me anyways, so uh, I'll come back when I am ready for the epoxy. Okay, I have my resin mix to go on here. Um, it's very bubbly, it is quite cold. I'm gonna use the Girl's Best Friend Diamond Dust, just a little bit. I mean, a very little bit. And I'm kind of kicking around using a colored diamond dust. I'm thinking about using the honey gold. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work over a product, like over an image. So I'm going to use like just the tiniest, tiniest bit. And I may add a tiny bit to the very last of the epoxy for the bottom and the top rim. So I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to add a bit more. of just the gold. Now it's quite a bit more saturated, the color. I'm 
And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to just the bottom and the top rim. I'm going to bring you down. Look at that color over that off-white. It is gorgeous. See how it's pulling away already like a mica would? Kind of expected that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that little black spot's a nick in the paint, but... It is what it is. There's that little corner I boogered. Go figure. But I absolutely love it.